besties welcome back to the channel so in honor of black history month i decided to do a video where i give you a lot of my uh tbr recs for black author books now obviously we should be reading black authors year round but just in honor of black history month i decided to do this video but definitely read black authors year round. I may be looking down a lot because I have a whole Google sheet <laughs> that I made for this video um, just to kind of help keep the structure. But if you guys want, I can have this Google sheet linked in the description below. And if you guys want, I can also maybe make it available to edit so we can all like have our own little space to just give recommendations to each other because I also don't have any like non-fiction books on here so if you guys have any to recommend definitely do it in the comments or do it on this google sheet but yeah so let's just get into it so first we're gonna go ahead and go into ya fantasy and so for one i have blood like magic this is a teen witch who is given a horrifying task sacrifice her first love to save her family's magic the problem is she's never been in love she'll have to find the perfect guy before she can kill him oh what <laughs> yes so this is technically a duology both books are already out these are all on my tbr so we're gonna try and do this like rapid fire and on the google sheet i have a very very summarized version of what is in these books <laughs> so bear with me after that we have children of blood and bones they get one chance to reclaim magic back from the ruthless king and outrun the prince and prince in doing so that was a very brief way i could like summarize what the heck that book is about but this is also a trilogy and the third book comes out in september of this year i don't know about y'all but when the little mermaid comes out i will be reading all of the black mermaid books i can find so <laughs> we have skin of the sea of course this is why fantasy as well and this is basically just a african mermaid mythology um book and it's also a duology and it's already out after that we have the blood trials so this is a young black woman must survive deadly trials in a racist and misogynistic society to become an elite warrior and this is also a duology called the blood gift duology and the second one comes out april 18th of this year and then we have blood scion which is a series and it's inspired by a nigerian mythology and is a magnetic combination of a song of wrath and ruin as well as daughter of smoke and bone so kind of like a little mixture of those two books together um and the second book comes out later on this year and dagger and this is also a series called the outlaw saint series so this one is basically following a main character named mateo in this um society where his homeland disappeared into the sea like 15 years ago or so and so he's in high school now and then he meets up with this person who's also a teenager and they decide to f um help fight for their community and other stuff like that so the second book for the series comes out in the, later this year as well, Gilded Ones. So this one is going to be a trilogy, I believe, called the Deathless Trilogy. And the second one is out, but the third one is not. It doesn't have a title or anything yet. But this one is basically following the main character. She finds out that her blood runs gold, which in her village is considered impure. And so after this ritual of finding out her blood is gold, they're going to do like these things worse than death to her basically as a consequence but she ends up meeting a woman who wants her to help her fight this um emperor's greatest threat um because she can because she's practically immortal after that we have daughters of nri and so this one is basically um this one's a duology called the return of the earth mother duality finished and out and it's basically a gruesome war results in the old gods departure from earth only remnants of their existence lies in two girls twins separated at birth goddesses who grow up believing that they are human daughters of nri explores their epic journey of self-discovery as they embark on a path back to one another 
And then obviously I have to talk about Legendborn. So the second book is already out, as you guys know, Blood Marked. I believe this is gonna be a trilogy, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not too sure. Um, but the Blood Marked more recently came out, so there's not an announcement for the third one yet. But this is pretty much a King Arthur retelling, um, which was very surprising to me because I was like, I don't care about King Arthur. Why is it why why do people care about this? But some black girl magic in this and just a lot of a lot of vibes that I'm ready to be a part of, basically. <laughs> so that's the last of the YA fantasies. So now we're gonna get into the regular, like adult fantasies. And so we have the fifth season. This one is a part of the Broken Earth trilogy, and they're all already out, so you don't have to worry about release dates or anything for this one. And it's basically a dystopian world where the main character must find a way to save her kidnapped daughter after she finds her husband dead. So, yeah. Then after that, we have Black Leopard, Red Wolf. This one is a part of the Dark Star trilogy and um, there's not a release date for the third one yet, but the first two are out. And so this one is basically um, just an African history and mythology of a tracker banding together with a group to find a missing boy. After that, we have Rise of a Dark Throne. This one is an Afro fantasy, it's part of the Mosa Chronicles. Don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, I apologize. But the second one should be releasing later this year. And then we have The Deep, which is another mermaids one. And it's actually written by Rivers Solomon and Davy Diggs Hamilton Man Lafayette. Okay, yes, give it to me now. But this is basically a water breathing descendants of African slave women who, who were tossed overboard and basically built their own society underwater. So, one graphic novel on here. I've never read a graphic novel, so. I am really intrigued by this one though because it is called Wash Day Diaries and this one is basically just a graphic novel love letter to the beauty and endurance of black women, their friendships, and their hair. So very excited to read this one. I really want, I'm probably gonna buy it on Amazon right after I film this video. <laughs> and then I have a one fiction thriller and it's called My Sister the Serial Killer. Yes! <laughs> So basically for this one, the main character's sister is a serial killer, of course, but basically the main character has to choose between her sister, the serial killer, or the man she's been in love with at her job because it looks like that man is going to be homegirl's next victim. So she has to choose between the two. And I'm very intrigued to see as to why the heck her sister is a serial killer. Like, is it just for fun? Or did they deserve it, you know? They probably deserve it, but <laughs> I'd, like, I'd like to know, you know, I'd like to get into that. <laughs> I have another fiction book that is primarily about mental health, and it is called Someday Maybe. This one is basically about a woman's emotional journey through unimaginable loss pulled along her tight-knitted Nigerian family, uh, poses of new friends, and the love and laughter she shared with her husband after she found her husband's body when he decided to commit suicide. So, this one's a very heavy topic, so definitely proceed with caution for that one. Check trigger warnings and everything. We ha I have two YA romances, and so one of them is Highly Suspicious, Unfairly Cute by Talia Hil Hilbert. Hil I have to concentrate so hard to not say Hilbert. I don't know why I want to add an L to her name, <laughs> but it's Hibbert. Talia Hibbert. <laughs> Obviously, she wrote the Brown Sister trilogy, so if you want to read that as well, definitely do. But um, since this is her most recent release, it literally came out um, like January 3rd or something. So I'm just going to mention this one instead of the trilogy, just since it's her most recent one. But it's her first YA romance, and it's basically a story about a quirky content creator and a clean-cut athlete testing their abilities to survive the great outdoors and each other. Another YA romance I have is Love Radio, and so this one is a self-professed teen love doctor with a popular radio segment who believes he can get a girl who hates all things romance to fall in love with him in only three dates. So yeah, I heard that this one, the guy like helps take out her braids and stuff for her, so that alone makes me want to read it, so 
So then the last category I have is, of course, romance. So for the first one I have is by the book. This one is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. So into that. And then I have Make Me. So this one is a basically about a widowed single mom. It's an interracial relationship. So into it. It's a black woman. Black woman, white man. And black woman has like a two-year-old, I think, is how old her daughter is into that probably gonna scream cry and throw up over it but it's okay <laughs> um this one is also a part of an interconnected standalone so this one's technically the third one in that series but you can read it on its own of course have honey and spice this one was all over uh tiktok or at least black book talk i don't know about i don't know about the other tiktok but <laughs> um i saw this everywhere and so this one basically centers a young black british woman who has no interest in love but unexpectedly finds herself caught up in a fake relationship with a man she warned her girls about and then of course i had to put in seven days in june this one is very very popular um i did not read the synopsis for this one because i really want to go in blind for this one so you're gonna have to look that one up on your own it's very popular so you guys probably have already read it <laughs> so it is what it is then speaking of um another one i didn't read the synopsis for that i want to go in blind is um before i let go by kennedy ryan obviously kennedy ryan wrote the hoop series and a lot of other books that you could totally check her out with but since this is her most recent one i'm gonna use this one for this video um and it's also the first one i've ever bought so i'm very excited and ready to get on the kennedy ryan train and then another one that got very popular on black book talk is you made a fool of death with your beauty so this one is a novel about a young woman seeking joy while healing from loss and that's all i wanted to know about it that's another one that i kind of want to go into blind a little bit but i try to give y'all a little something something and i have all i've wanted all i've needed um this one sounds like kind of like almost a coming of age type of scenario i know this author she promotes her stuff on tiktok and she says she mainly focuses on like soft life black girl romances so very into that this one is a part of a series the sun sunshine and ace series um i believe they have two books and they're already out so good on that we have the wedding crasher this one is about two strangers who get trapped in a lie and have to fake date their way out of it and this one's also a standalone after that i have restore me so this one is enemies to lovers romance about forbidden romance and love after loss this is a part of the new haven series but i believe all the books are out and some of them are about other people so it's kind of interconnected standalone e but it looked like all of the books were pretty short because all of them were released in like the same year so and then i have holding back the years this one is the two characters are fall for each other after a one night stand type of scenario um and this one's also standalone then we have bet on it i'll give it all i got that is my plan bet on it bet on it bet on it bet on it so this one is basically um i didn't want to read too much into it but it looks like the main girl keeps running into this one guy everywhere she goes for the most part and so they decide to like kind of become friends or whatever and realize that they have kind of a connection and so they decide to have a sex pact so don't really know if it's friends with benefits or kind of just like strangers with benefits i don't know <laughs> i don't know if they're friends really or not but yeah so do without you all <laughs> then last on the list i have is fake it till you bake it this one i'm not gonna lie I bought literally just because the two people on the cover were so hot and I was like I have to have this <laughs> but basically I believe that homegirl right here she ends up rejecting a proposal on national TV so she's like public enemy number one now she ends up and I think she either owns a bake a baking shop or she works at a baking shop or something but a reporter catches these two together and thinks that they're dating and kind of just runs with it and so for them to keep their business like going and the publicity going they decide to go ahead and fake date so yeah <laughs> but yes 
that is the end of this video i know i kind of was rapid firing all of this because i didn't want this video to be too long you can see i mainly had fantasy um and romance and then like one or two of like fiction so if you guys have any other suggestions definitely comment them down below you know if you guys want me to make this google sheet available to you guys to edit so we can all just have like a resource to recommend like books to each other by black authors i think that would be a really cute idea <laughs> so definitely let me know and i will see you guys next time bye Meet me on the street lights Meet me where the lights fade out Tell me what it feels like